Hey spooky family, I'm sort of annoyed today so I thought I would do a vlog about 10 things that absolutely annoy me or irk me in some way. Um, I've been trying to do review videos and all this stuff on my channel to get it to a specific schedule all week freaking long and every time I go to sit down and make videos it's like Grand Central Station in this freaking house. Drums are going off, phones are going off, everything. So I do apologize for my lack of uploading lately. So let's just get to it since I'm kind of riled up, if you can't tell. Um, the first thing that I can't stand is when people don't use their turn signal while driving. Come on. Really. Those last minute people that turn, they don't even- It, it, it just boggles me how stupid people can be. And I've like witnessed like two accidents in my life that came from people just not using their freaking turn signal. Come on now. Number two is the Bible thumpers who like believe in like faith healing and all that shit. You know, go away. Go into your communes, whatever, but keep it away from me. Um, number three is when dudes piss all over the place in the bathroom. Okay, when I was growing up, I had, I lived with my brother and my father and for some reason I don't know how the pee gets all over the place I don't know what guys are doing jumping jacks while they're taking a piss or whatever but it freaking gets all over the place I don't understand how that freaking happens but it's disgusting and annoying uh, number four this is a major one um, when people pick food off my plate Okay, that is one thing. I am actually known for stabbing people in the hand with my fork if you try to take food off my plate. It's one thing if you offer somebody, hey, do you want some of this? But if they automatically assume that they can be welcome to your food, I find that to be awfully rude. And I just need to back off my food space. I love food. I don't, I don't care. I love food. I will stab you over it. Um, number five. When I had to take a college course, we had to study the whole social justice warrior movement, and I have to say they are an annoying group of immature people. Um, I know this might piss off some of my viewers or whatever, but I, I gotta just be real here. The overly PC culture is gonna divide us more than bring us together, and that's absolutely not what we want to do. Um, number six. When people get pissed off if you don't respond to them right away in a message. Now, come on. Like, get real here. You don't know what the fuck they could be doing. They could be hiding a dead body. They could be out jerking. on vacation. Chris said they could be jerking. You don't know. You don't know what they could be doing. Or, how about this? Maybe they just want to be left alone for a little while. There is such a thing as that. And the, the stupid people that get like, oh my god, why aren't you responding? Why aren't you responding? Why aren't you? They will get guaranteed you will be blocked, removed. I won't even waste time with that shit. Um, seven. The people that self-diagnose themselves on Tumblr and pretend to have a mental illness when they really don't. They do it for attention and all that stuff. Come on. That's fucking retarded. Oh, uh, eight. Country and pop music just rubs me the wrong freaking way. I don't know what it is about it, but like when we had to do music studies classes and we had to listen to different music, even music history class, the two genres that would like cause me to just get so tense are those two. Um, number nine is when you go to the movie theater and there are people sitting in front of you on their phones filming the movie. That pisses me off. Okay, I paid to see the film. I did not pay to watch you film the movie. No, I want to see the film. So pirates, if you could please get a digital camera and sit in the back somewhere so you could zoom in, that'd be awesome. And I also hate it when, uh, last time I was in the movie theater, uh, I was with my friends Katie and Caitlin and the girl next to us was talking on the phone through the whole movie. Well, not the whole movie because I gave her a dirty look and she kind of just left. But yeah, th what is up with people? That's just horrendous and one of my biggest pet peeves. 
And number 10, getting told to smile by people because of my RBF. I have major resting bitch face that would put Wednesday Adams to shame. And all the time in public, it's you look miserable. You look uh, like, you, you know, your puppy just died or anything like that. I just have resting bitch face. I could literally be perfectly happy, super stoked because I got some devil's food donuts, thinking about that on my mind, and I will still look like this. So... Those are 10 things that irk me. Um, hopefully I can get some decent videos up and going. Uh, and we shall see. So, thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that stupid little bell that we have to click now to get notifications because Lord knows the old way of just hitting the subscribe button and automatically being notified is way way too much trouble um and like us on facebook for more adventures there will be like polls on there and stuff like that uh entertainment wise and if you would like to tune in to original versus remake i am bringing that back shortly and the first one would be house on haunted hill so if you'd like to put in your vote for which one you like better there will be a link in the description where you can go ahead and vote and the results of the poll will be featured at the end of that video. Have a 